we're talking about a bendier and bouncier basic. get more comfortable you're gonna start bending your knees more and this is actually one of the very 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 first things that I start teaching in how to claw is how to bend this is important because at this stage this is where this is gonna come into play when you are bending you're getting a nice dynamic up and down motion you can see that nice little bounce that happens it's all here in the knees But just practice um, putting your weight on one leg and just bending, okay? Up and down, up and down, because that's what's carrying you through these movements. And we're going to use this as we get along here. So this bending part is super important not to be overlooked. Get those knees strong, okay? Your quads, really. So a bendy basic also is kind of bouncy. They go hand in hand. Double step, rock. When I double step and I bend down, both knees are bending, right? When I'm gonna rock back, right, both of my legs are straightening. And when I come back down, they're bent again. So double step, rock step. But notice my knees are bending at the same time, bending and straightening at the same time. And it is that dramatic bending and straightening action that is making this look happen. And down the road, it'll actually be the source of the sound that we want to achieve in some of the other uh, little variations that I'm going to show you. So now you have a basic that is much more dynamic. And part B of this, you have a song where it's fast, okay? But when the song slows down, you have the luxury to be able to bounce more, drag your movements out and make it look a little different. So as an example, okay, so that was all in the bending, the bending and straightening, and I hope you can see the subtle difference of the bending versus, that is a variation, basically number one slash two, the bendy and bouncy basic, and it all comes from bending those knees.